uh, this is another video coming at you. Um, what I've done, as you can see, I've put two stock images that I found. They're kind of like uh, glamour, kind of fashion, sort of magazine kind of um, poses and pictures. Um, all I've done is put them on the same screen um, as I've got them separately. I'm going to put them in a RAW file with the textures and the brush, so you can do this yourself. Uh, this tutorial is just going to create a glossy kind of page, double kind of page spread. Um, you can put Ryan on top of it, but at the moment it's just going to be pictures. So, um, first of all, what you would do is have, have these two. And um, what you're going to do is you can um, swap this around. So what you could do is uh, edit, uh, rotate 90 degrees, no, that's not it. Edit, transform, rotate, no. I'll just leave it like that, actually. You can flip it the other way, but I'm trying to uh, flip horizontal or vertical. There you go. Um, yeah, might as well just do it like that. Okay, so um, obviously the text is going to be a bit out, but anyway, what you do is go um, to the top box. You won't be able to see it, and you can get a little. Sh you might be able to see this. See, you can see wet media brushes, etc. What you do is go to load brushes. So what you do is when you can see the brush, you know you've got your brush to on. Then you can click the little, like little um, down arrow next to it, and then you can click the little, um, little play button, and that gets this pop-up menu where you can do load brushes. So I'm going to load it from Tart, and there you get there's the brush, and this is going to be in the pack. Um, if I make it smaller, it's an ABR, which is um, the format for brushes. So I'm going to load that. And as you can see, I've already got this one up. You can scroll to the bottom and select them. This is one of them, which is, um, if I can find it, um, it's one of the first ones in the pack. It's quite a big pack um, of brushes, and they're quite nice as well. So, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is, um, on the first layer here, I'm going to duplicate it, which you can control J. I'm just going to right click duplicate. Okay, so I've got two of those layers. So what I'm going to do is go into, I think it's control B and it's called color balance. So what I'm going to do is 40 and then that's, I think that's 61. And you can just change around with the magenta. So I want a kind of a bluey, see that's really purple. I don't, I want it kind of in the middle. So I'm probably going to do something like that. Maybe a little bit more red. You can, you can cut it, but you want it that sort of blue, sixty-one percent blue. So it's gives it that purpley sort of feel. Right. I'm going to do that. Right. Hopefully you can see them. Yep. Midtones and preserve uh, luminosity, and then click OK. Right, uh, next, so that's the bottom layer, as you can see. What you could do is press Control E, and that merges the layers. Right, next on this layer, which is above, this layer is above it, um, is I'm going to get rid of that join. So what I'm going to do is get, uh, press, um, you know, in your layers menu, right at the bottom, there's little logos, you know, the rubbish bin, etc. And there's one that's kind of like a square with a little circle in it. If you go over it, it's called add layer mask and on a layer mask what you can do is brush over in black as you can see it will take away the picture I've changed the opacity or you can press it white and it will preserve uh, it will get back what you've got rid of so if I do black here change it to white as you can see it's going to do it slower as you can see it's coming back only because I've got 25% opacity Right, so I'm going to use black, and then what I'm going to do is gently try to get rid of this join. Um, as you can see, I've got the picture behind it, so it'll blend in. I have to change the opacity because that's just taking forever. So I'm just going to keep going. 
just over the so you can get rid of that blue line. Oh, a bit too far there. Control Z, Z. There, something like that. So you can see it's a bit more smoothed out. <coughs> right, next what we're going to do is um, do a new layer and then what you're going to do is file open and in the thing I've got there is um, some textures and you're going <coughs> to do texture number one okay as you can see there's a preview of it there right so you open that and it'll be a new layer so minimize that and then click that little tool and then what you can do is simply and it'll drag it onto that so it'll go on this layer <coughs> so what you would do is put the white as